Hey guys, today we have an episode of Battlefield Masters, the series where you guys, the viewers, can submit your exceptional gameplay for a chance to be featured as a Battlefield Master on this channel and win some cool gear while you're at it. Each episode focuses on a specific area of battlefield tactics, and today's episode focuses on main battle tanks. Our player of choice and winner of an epic gaming mouse is Biju, who is absolutely going to tear it up in the main battle tank. His battle tank is equipped with Sabo rounds, active protection system, and zoom optics. Fairly straightforward, in fact, that's what I like to run with as well. Now let's take a look at a clip of some aggressive tanking on a rush game mode. Biju is playing on the offensive side. When describing his tactics, he says, always keep an eye on your minimap, look and find where the enemy is weak and flank them as done in this video. Take on fights you know you can handle, manage your APS, don't panic and activate it right away. Don't be too aggressive in armor. In the video, I kind of contradict that, but sometimes you need that X factor, quote unquote, to spark a push. And right after overwhelming that defensive tank, Biju manages to keep the AMCOM arm there. As you can see, there was about four guys right Rushing to try and disarm that MCOM, he sets himself up perfectly coming around from a flank. Now, this was an angle that the enemy team was not prepared for. He's doing a great job of switching between that hostile tank and the enemy infantry, a skill that is very necessary, especially when you know there's a lot of engineers around you. Again, coming around for a flank. He's not driving over the very tops of the hills, but rather dipping down in between the low points so that his tank is not exposed and not easily visible from any infantry on the map. Considering that there's gonna be a lot of engineers in this map, that is a very important tactic. And here we're getting to the really aggressive point in the video. Sometimes you need to motivate your team, really push up there and distract the enemy infantry. There's a lot of engineers, so Biju activates his APS at tactical moments and just has to eat the rest of the shots. I don't imagine he thought he was gonna be alive for too long here, but he's managing to get so many infantry kills along with his gunner really taking out enemy there that uh, most engineers are not getting more than one shot off with their rockets towards him. And he's making sure to keep the front of his tank always pointing towards them to mitigate as much damage as possible and just look at this brutal flank about four infantry literally just had their backs to him and he mows them all down pops out for a second to get a repair off there and then re-engages the infantry his gunner sticking in the tank the whole time not jumping out when things get a little bit too chaotic they finally get taken down there but not after biju gets a solid 20 kills by himself not including the gunner now let's see what Biju does on the defensive side in another rush game. In this one he says, the attackers come over the hill to the left and in front, so never stand still. Always keep on the move and look at your minimap, a lot. The tank on defense side is key to winning. You will be the enemy team's biggest target. Don't sit back and let them push, push up, be smart and aggressive to show you mean business. And certainly right away, Biju wastes no time getting out in front, taking out that Jeep and now engaging a tank. And watch the technique as Biju maintains maximum speed while moving sideways and landing every single shot on this main battle tank. The tank is in a bad position. He's got his front face forward, no maneuverability whatsoever. He's trying to back up that hill. Biju disables him and now he's going in for the last shot and finally the kill. It's pretty damn impressive never missing a shot, always maintaining maximum mobility. It takes a lot of practice with the tank, not only just uh, being aware of where you're driving and not getting the tank stuck in a ditch, but also keeping it level so you can take nice, even shots. Now it appears that the enemy has gained the high ground and Biju has pushed up far enough that you'll see most of the enemy he's engaging are not actually looking at him, but they're looking a little bit more forward. They're really trying to use this cliff top here, shooting down at the infantry, looking at the mini map, you'll see he's getting almost surrounded on the front side there, really focusing on that left, and uh, I imagine he's going to change his attention to the front in just a second as a rocket does come in and take uh, a hit at him. So he's going to back up real fast, realizing that he's kind of right in the middle of a concave right there. And that is the last thing you want to do. And thanking his reppers for him mid-combat. What a guy. Uh, definitely a nice way to keep people active and uh, supporting your tank while in the thick of things. Another tank is starting to push up on the road and rockets are just flying past Biju non-stop. The enemy has really made a big push on the 
the front side of this map here. Uh, the problem is that there's very limited cover there. So Biju's really going to change his attention to focus on the front side of the map a little bit more and take out those highly vulnerable infantry that really just have to peek their head up over a little hill and then they are cannon fodder for his HMG. And sometimes you look at awesome gameplay and you think, oh, this guy's only doing well because the enemy team really doesn't know what they're doing. The enemy team is doing an amazing job of surrounding the defensive team. That's exactly what you want to do is you want to attack from all angles with good numbers. And Biju recognizes this and is backing up appropriately at the right times. Again, a concave attack is uh, one of the best ways to surround your enemy and achieve maximum damage. And being right in the center of that is a dangerous situation. And notice how he activates his APS just at the right time. As the tank shell is mid-flight, he mitigates that tank shell and an RPG. Frankly, any tank driver who missed that APS right there probably would have been dead. It would have disabled you, lost your mobility, and the tank would have easily been able to finish you off. The enemy team tank is actually staying at bay and uh, always making sure that Biju is aware of him, but it's not keeping Biju from stopping to engage infantry. Many players, myself included, would probably just be very narrow-minded and just focus on that tank and be mostly worried about their tank and let the infantry get the better of them. In this situation, Biju is making sure to still clear off the tops of the rock there, keep his eyes open for all infantry around the map as a defensive player burning down those infi tickets are really going to win the game for you. And he's got him down to about 15 tickets now so it's time to be a little bit more aggressive and he's really pushing out into this meadow making sure not to peek this corner until uh, he's cleaned up the infantry around here or at least put them on bay. And his uh, active protection was charged again so he can activate it, take out that infantry and move in for the kill on this tank and he just does it so beautifully. Only taking one direct shot from that tank there in the entire engagement while at the same time taking out multiple infantry with rocket launchers. And I'll admit I'm very impressed by how aggressive he's able to be on this map. Being in a concave situation with enemy on the high ground, he's still able to dodge a lot of rockets, get a lot of kills, and he doesn't go down once, cleaning up with 20 kills and preventing the enemy team from getting a single MCOM. Now, I was checking out Biju's YouTube channel, and he's got some great gameplay, not just on Rush, but a lot of Conquest stuff out there as well. Admittedly, Rush is much more entertaining to watch because the concentration of infantry and enemies is so intense that you're going to be getting non-stop action. And uh, his playthrough throughout uh, pretty much any game mode is just flawless. He's very, very um, patient with his APS. He knows exactly when to pop it, when to get out of the tank to go for a reps. And you'll notice on many occasions he's always communicating with players in game, not necessarily typing, but just a quick thank you for repairs. It keeps players working with him and supporting his tank throughout the course of action. It's very cool, it's very fun to watch him play, and I highly recommend checking out his channel. Now watching his gameplay certainly makes me want to work on certain aspects of my tanking. For example, being more patient with my APS, not popping it, the first sign of danger, but being a little bit more patient, making sure I use it when it's really important to use it. Also, you'll notice that BG stays on roads a lot. This is very important for just maintaining a nice level playing field to get accurate shots from. If you go off-road, you're going to get a lot of slippage, a lot of weird moving around and stuff like that and you're going to end up missing a lot of shots and also it's going to be harder to escape enemy infantry RPGs and mobility is a big part of his gameplay here. The reason why he uh, is so effective with APS is that he uses it when he absolutely needs to and the rest of the time he's just dodging RPGs. So I hope you guys learned some stuff from watching Biju's gameplay and breaking it down. If you would like to be considered for the next episode of Battlefield Masters, check the video description for details on how to submit and the subject matter this time around is going to be the support class in objective based gameplay. So anything that is not team deathmatch or domination, I want to see you using support gadgets and playing the class in a very effective way that really shows why the support class is needed in objective based game modes. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.